When connections are critical. When conversations are crucial. Roanne equals results. Well, you heard I was written up in the Wall Street Journal, and I really thought I had arrived until I read what it said. <laughs> a review of how to work a room. At last, the perfect how-to book for shallow people. <laughs> I was, to say the least, unhappy. Until a friend of mine said, Susan, what's wrong with you? Don't be upset. Don't you understand? That's a market of 40 to 50 million potential book buyers. <laughs> Susan Roan is the best-selling author of three books. How to Work a Room, named number one by the Book of the Month Club. The Secrets of Savvy Networking. And What Do I Say Next? In order to be successful in business today, you must know what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. Working a room is important, and there's a reason. If we don't work rooms, we're missing opportunities. The opportunity to learn, to meet people, to have a good time, to make a friend. They are doing research now from Harvard to Stanford and places in between to find out what distinguishes a leader? What makes people successful? Harvard, Dr. Nathan Kaifetz in the 80s wrote, in the 90s and in the year 2000, everyone will be technically adept. Even I, who wrote three books with pencil and paper. But he said, who will distinguish themselves as successes in the year 2000 will be the people who can talk to other people. The number one trait in common with the MBA students from Stanford 10 years out who had success was their verbal fluency. They could talk to a group. They talked to strangers. They could give a speech, and they talked one-on-one -on -one with people. They were comfortable in their own skin, and they spoke and had conversations. Verbal fluency equals affluency. When connections are critical, when conversations are crucial, Roan equals results. How many of you, when you walk into a room full of strangers, feel comfortable? Oh, there, we have about 20 people raise their hands, and you're all looking around going, who are these normal people? Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the 20 of us who raised their hands and you thought they were normal. We are sick human beings. <laughs> I mean, how many people say, let me get up, leave my, first of all, to leave your room in this hotel is a, an interesting venture, and go with people you don't know. This is awesome, and it's daunting. We don't know people. We don't know what to say to them. We don't know what to say next year. We were taught to put out our hands and say our names. That we know how to do. But how do we build the conversation and the rapport that builds the relationships upon which all business is based? Known around the world as the Mingling Maven, Susan Roan motivates her audiences and gives them the tools and confidence to master the art of communication in the office, with clients, and at conferences. We do have a guard at the door. This is not a recess break. You are going to have the opportunity to take your newfound, fabulous, friendly self-introduction, and you are going to have a chance to meet at least two people that you haven't met yet. And by the way, both in How to Work a Room and What Do I Say Next, I said you cannot work a room on your tush unless you live at the Vatican or Buckingham Palace. So you are going to have to rise, look around and see who you'd like to meet, and you're going to have a couple of minutes to meet two new people and to schmooze. So on your mark, get set. Rise and schmooze. One of the gentlemen said to me, Susan, listen to us. How are you going to get us back in our seats? And I said, you know, it really won't be a problem. I used to teach sixth grade. 
How many of you did meet two people? Fabulous. How many of you met more? Ah, the fast trackers. Savvy networking and artful conversation are vital to everyone's success. Whether in sales, management, or customer service, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. The secrets of savvy networking. I did a series of four programs in New York last year for Chase Manhattan, and I interviewed their number one uh, sales winning, pinnacle award winning person. I said, Drew, tell me what your secret is about how you are able to make so many sales of products to your customers. She goes, she says to me on the phone, oh, you misunderstood. I've never sold anything. I said to her, oh, I'm sorry. They gave me your name as having won the Pinnacle Award for four years. She goes, no, no, no. I don't sell anything. She says, what I do is I get to know my customers. I don't pick up a phone to tell them about a product that I already know isn't going to fit their needs. But she says, I get to know them as people. I know about their kids. I know about their parents. I know about where they went to school. I know when they're trying to, you know, raise money for the Leukemia Society benefit. And she said this, and I thought this was the crux of conversation and sales. She said, but my real skill and what my secret is, is I let my customers get to know me. She said, I didn't tell them the part when my son went to Juvie Hall. She said, you can't, just, you can't tell them everything. But they knew that I was worried about my mother. My mother had taken a spill. They, knew, they know enough about me that I'm a person to them. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. Not with companies. How to work a room. What stops us from working a room? Well... There are things I call mother's dire warnings, and the first one sounds like this. Don't talk to strangers. And this is what we were taught. Don't talk to strangers. The only problem is that when you're at Apex, even though you might be new, nobody here is a stranger. In fact, I'm going to give you a quiz. How many of you are sitting next to someone that you know? Would you raise your hand? Boy, is it a good thing I'm here. This is what we do. We find someone we know. Let's sit with the person we know. Here's your homework. From now on, don't sit with someone you know. Sit with someone you don't know. Instead of don't talk to strangers, let me give you the remedy. Redefine a stranger. Schmooze or lose. I know you all want to meet the key people here, but you know what? Each and every one of you is a key contact here. Because, and you'll hear about her a little more because my grandmother was right. The Susan Rowan and her grandmother theory of marketing is you never know. <laughs> Thank you, and my grandmother thanks you. You never know. The person that we're a little hesitant about taking time with this year, next year, could be the top person. And they'll never forget if we have snubbed them. So it's as simple as this. The magic is, you might want to write this down, be nice to everyone. <laughs>